financial obligations on debt repayment, but analysts warn that the government needs to consolidate its expenditure to further reduce the debt ratio, which currently stands at 70% at a time when the shilling continues to lose ground against the US dollar. Jimmy Mbogo is actually at this particular event tackling actually at ICA on their matters economic projections and joins us now. Good afternoon, Jimmy. Well, you did a very good afternoon to you too, Noah. Yes, as you rightfully say, there's a lot to look out for in 2023, looking at the economy. And one of the biggest concern and point of conversation has been the looming global recession. However, as it comes out now, there actually could be some positive uh, things that come out of this uh, global recession. We're looking at uh, what is the impact of this to the Kenyan economy and especially to the Kenyan currency. You will be delighted to know that one of the things that this could actually do is, is that it could provide room for the strengthening of the Kenyan shilling and also the other thing that has come out of this meet we want to understand first of all from where you sit and from the data that you are seeing looking at Kenya's revenue projection and everything that we are currently doing are we able to self-sustain I would say that uh, looking at Kenya's uh, current situation we've seen momentum in uh, terms of tax revenues, especially in the last fiscal year. And uh, we've also seen a government that's committed to cutting costs. And we think that as long as the government keeps up the momentum in terms of revenue growth and in terms of uh, cost cutting, then we'll see Kenyan's debt being sustainable. Okay, and uh, the, the thing that also I'm sure is a concern for so many experts is the fact that uh, looking at this global recession, we've, we've had conversation around our reserves and, and uh, the CBK saying that we have enough reserves, but still warning that uh, we are running uh, dangerously low. How do we turn this around going forward? Yeah, correct. We, we turn this around basically by, like, like we've said, we've, we've needed to try and increase our export base in Kenya uh, over the last um, decades and also is in foreign currency. And so definitely the, that's, that's an issue whereby uh, uh, depreciation of the shilling uh, provides more, more, more strain on the, the US, the, on the Kenyan debt situation. Uh, there are good things that the, the FX debt is at far cheaper than domestic debt. So it's something of a trade-off. Yes, there is uh, depreciation of the, of the shilling provides greater strain, but the, at the same time, let's recognize that and be cognizant that um, the interest expense we incur on foreign debt is up to half of that that we incur on domestic debt. Currently, our CBR rate is about 8.75%. You talked about government having to increase this to attract investors. How high do you see it going? Well, that's difficult to say. It, it will depend on a lot of factors. Uh, remember the reason why um, the central bank uh, hikes the central bank rate is so as to rein in inflation. So we expect inflation to actually decline this year. And therefore, central bank hike rate hikes this year, if any, will not be to the same extent. And of course, Noah will be giving you more details in our subsequent bulletins. But for now, back to you. Thank uh, Jimmy, for that update.